So today we have Mackenzie, Avery, and Hayden. What I'm gonna do today is teach you guys how to develop and prep like little developmentals from start to finish. So we'll go from warm up into conditioning, into the event conditioning, the event apparatuses, and then we will get into skills. The most important thing is developing body shapes, body control, and spatial awareness. So if there's skills, you get better. It's easy to teach skills, but it's harder to maintain them if the technique and the foundation isn't there. So, enjoy. Point your feet when you're running. And, and go. High knee run, go. Point your toes, point your toes, and pick your knees up, swing your arms back and forth. Point your toes, keep your hips flat, stay on your toes, stay on your toes. Go, push through your toes, don't let your knees bend. Ankles and toes, ankles and toes. Go. Tight legs, tight, tight, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Push and point, push and point, push and point. And go, sideways, push, don't let your knees bend. Point your toes off the floor, your ankles and toes. And other side, go, push, tight leg, squeeze, 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 squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. Get into the simple conditioning that should always be monitored. It doesn't need to be anything strenuous because typically they only have an hour and a half or two hours of practice. So everything that they do should be with you. Um, I start with frog jumps just because kids think it's fun. So the number that I always choose to start with the little guys is 20. They think it's a lot of fun, make a game out of it, however you want to do it. All right, ready? Separate your legs, you're gonna go down, touch the floor, jump straight up, your arms go to your ears, and begin, go. One, two, three. together feet together we're gonna do heel raises 20 is my magic number you can start however you want to anywhere between 10 and 20 is good for any kid that is four to about seven years old and they're beginners heel raises I like to start releve up and go hold your releve squeeze your ankles together squeeze squeeze make sure your bottoms are squeezing your inner thighs are squeezing down up one two Three, four, five. Bring your feet in because there are different variations of calf raises, heel raises, whatever you call them, toe raises, raise on your toe. We all have different names. <laughs> all right, releve up. Staying over the balls of your feet. Trying to keep the inside of your ankle over your big toe. Squeeze your inner thighs still. Squeeze your glutes. One, keep your heels apart. Two, three. All right, now we do first position, heels together. But here I want them activating their glutes and trying to pull their heels together at the top of their releve. And lift up. Really try to pull your heels together at the top without pulling your toes together. Squeeze your inner thighs and bring your heels towards the center, towards me. One, two, heels together, top Hayden. Three. Pull those heels together by squeezing your inner thighs and rotating your knees out. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And down. Single leg. Okay, you can do your foot either in coupe, show us coupe, or you can do passe depending on what you're training them for. You can either do L because at some point they do an L turn as they grow and glow up in gymnastics. But we're gonna just do coupe because these are for our babies. Focus on that because babies are not going to really understand, but they 
this shit to glutes as early as possible. Um, so we're gonna do fire hydrants, take it nice and slow so they have control and they know the position. And you also make them count it out as you deliver the way that you want it done, okay? Right leg first, up, out, in, down. Out, in, down. strong their glutes are or aren't definitely should do these because you want them to be able to activate their glutes when they're doing leaps and jumps and this is a very good exercise to make them only focus on their glutes firing as they lift the back leg so they're not using their lower back and lift one two three squeeze and lift McKenzie Make sure they're maintaining the right shape. Making sure your shoulders are on top of your wrist or slightly in front of. Making sure your back is rounded, giving us a nice cat, mad cat, mad cat. Straighten out your legs behind you, flex your feet under. I always start with holding up position first, lift your chin up. Your chin should be over the block. Yes, squeeze your bottoms, round your chest. You hold anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds depending on how strong they are before you start the push-ups. Mackenzie, flatten out your hips some. Thank you. And you're just gonna have their chest touch the pit block with their elbows coming right past their bodies. Four, five. And now I want you to hold your uh, shape down. One, keep your chest rounded. Two, three, four, five, push up. As you see, their elbows here should be forward, and then turn them out if you want them to go out to the side. Turn it forward, turn it out. Out to the side, your back is rounded, and get into the push-up position, straighten out those legs. Flat hips, your chest is up, flat hips hated. Shoulders are forward, right over your hands. Squeeze, elbows going out to the side, down one. And back up, two, three, and now I want you to hold it. Go. Hold. Ten. We get into our hollow hold shapes. Because they're little, they don't know how to get to the right shapes. And even some of my more advanced hollow holds where I put two blocks, I don't even start with that right away when they're learning. So you start by allowing them to get in this nice straight line. Pull your ribs down into your belly buttons, girls, and really try to press everything down into the floor. Staying tall through your shoulders. Tall. And arms down. Down. And you're gonna round your shoulders up and try to get your hands past your knees, your pit box past your knees, and up. The kid's a little bit too high, bring that down some. Hold it. You can hold this anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds, depending on how strong and how long you've been actually doing this. Focusing on their ankles staying glued together, toes pointed. Give me a nice little neck. I wanna see your neck, but I don't want your head back. Keeping your chin nice and neutral. Squeeze, squeeze, and down. Underneath your feet now, girls. Keeping your hands over your knees. Just keep them down right now. Put them down. Yeah, let's just do that. Down. Round your bottoms under. So really try to press your lower backs into the ground and try to press your hips up into the ceiling. Squeeze your ankles, squeeze your bottom. You're going to lift your feet slightly off of the hip lock, okay? And rounding and lifting, go. Hold it. Squeeze. Okay, body position. Hold 
this shape just so they know what this feels like. Press everything down. Give yourself at least 10 seconds of this. Now we're gonna move everything together into a hollow hold. So pit blocks over your knees, toes lifted and up. Go. Hold it. Give me a neck. Press your lower back down to the floor. Keep squeezing your bottom. Keep squeezing, keep squeezing. Nice and stretched. So this is also a good stretch for handstand holds. Good body position work for handstand holds. Making sure the legs are nice and tight. Try to get your knees off of the floor. Press your hips down into the floor. Lift your chest up off the floor. Press your armpits down into the floor. Make your body as long as possible. As long as possible. Hold the shape for 10. Lose your shape, try not to lose your shape. Squeeze and drop down. Put your chins back on the floor, looking at your pit block. Squeezing, squeezing, tight legs. And lift the pit block and your upper body off the floor. Look at your hands, Mackenzie. You can look at your hands. Lift your arms up. And down. Put your pit block behind you. Floor right now, girls. Squeeze, tight legs, tight. Tight, tight, tight. Squeeze your bottom, squeeze. Squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. And lift the legs up and hold it. Use your hamstrings to lift and your glutes, not your lower back. Squeeze, lift. If they don't get it off the pit block right away, don't worry. Just keep working it the right way, making sure their legs are tight. This is their heel drive. Tight knees, Hayden. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Keep lifting, keep lifting, keep squeezing. And down. Grab your pit block. And lift and hold it, go, hold, up. Reaching tall through your shoulders. Tall through your shoulders, Hayden. Make your shoulder, yes, longer. Tight knees. And as you can see, there's different levels to the arch, depending on how flexible or strong you are, and what part of the muscles are actually moving. And down. That should take you no more than 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how much time you spend on it. In the beginning, it may take 30 minutes if you actually focus on the attention to detail. I will get 